Get them while they're in season. On this week's Food Friday, we celebrate a beloved low country delicacy, the oyster. We'd like to welcome Andrew Boyd, executive chef at Coast Bar and Grill. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. So, Chef, are things feeling a little bit more festive now that you're back to 100% capacity as far as COVID is concerned and being in the restaurant industry? Um, we definitely have seen a little uptick in business. Uh, I wouldn't say it's comfortable just yet. We still keep our tables for, uh, separated and we are still trying to you know, cater to the more not ready to go back 100% crowd. I think we're at about 60% occupancy right now. Um, we're hoping as you know things progress, we'll be up to 100% and be able ready to go by the spring, but we'll see. How have you been able to adapt? Um, well, we've tried to do things like our $6 for six, dollars for six oysters to uh, get more of the locals into it. Um, we're trying to reach out more to the community and sell good food. You That's know, all you can do is oysters. do the best you can. I want to get to the oysters. Can you give us a little bit of a rundown as to what your menu is like? Our menu is, um, I like to call it uh, Caribbean coastal. So we do a lot of Caribbean food with a Charleston flair to it, like our fried, crispy fried flounder we do on Saturday nights and, you know, like local oysters and other such things, you know, try to incorporate what the low country has to offer and then put our own spin on it, as it were, you know, right. friendly to the locals and to anybody else that is, wants an easy night of easy fish. Yes, and we, and we love our seafood here in the low country. So that brings me to your oysters. Oysters are one of the most delicious uh, items, I would say, that are native to the low country all along um, the East Coast, frankly. But what makes low country oysters so special, would you say? Um, I would definitely say they're special because of the, the unique flavor you get out of the South Carolina oyster. Um, you don't really find oysters like that. From Folly River, oysters taste completely different to Keel River. All oysters are spe special and the locations they come from with what they have to eat will definitely change the flavors. And I like the, the brininess of a South Carolina oyster. And in all honesty, I kind of like the limited, the limited availability through the summer months too. It makes people kind of gear up for them this time of year and really want an oyster. It is true. I mean, you could eat them by the truckloads. That'd be an uh, easy feat to accomplish. Um, we definitely have. <laughs> yeah. So for anyone who is not uh, familiar with oysters or a little bit skittish to try them, how would you ease them into the world of enjoying oysters? Uh, with a variety. Yeah. That's the easiest way to do it is you put a couple different oysters next to somebody and when you can actually taste and smell and see the difference, it really kind of, it's like tasting, you know, two different types of Merlot. Like you think they should be the same, but they're so different that it kind of just in the innate curiosity of people from there will kind of grab and make them go with it. If you get a cold water oysters, it's, it's more of a fresh, clean flavor where if you get more Southeast oysters, it's usually a little brinier and a little stronger in flavor. I like that about South Carolina oysters here again is that stronger flavor. It helps you taste it. And that's where I said, again, like you get two oysters from two different places and you get people to taste them. They'll know the difference. Like, and a lot of people will enjoy that difference. Absolutely. So what are the oysters that you're featuring right now on your menu? Right now we have um, Beausoleil's, we have Blue Points, we have Malpacks, and we have Wellfleets. Sorry about looking up, but I've got oh, yeah, that's right. one through my brain. It's hard to think. Th those are not all southern oysters. Are they also no. from other parts of the coast? Yeah, we have them from all up and down the east coast. We don't do any west coast oysters yet. I tried to start that. Didn't really grab. People didn't gravitate to that. But all of our oysters are off the east coast and from up and down the east coast. Sometimes we have Gulf oysters. James River oysters are real big right now too. Um, but I try to keep as local and then also fresh and quality also play into that. Like, well, what can I get the freshest literally. and most quality? You can't no, go you really can. paying a dollar for an oyster. I mean, that is money well spent. So uh, six oh. for six oysters, those are on. that's on Wednesdays. And do you have other items in your raw bar or is this something? Well, we have uh, shrimp and crab ceviches. We, um, we actually cocktail shrimp always, you know, you got to cater to everybody. Um, but yeah, we have, a, we have a variety of all, I mean, we have food, you know, that's, 
classically low country. And then we have stuff from, you know, the Louisiana area. We have stuff from the Caribbean. And then, like I said, we just use local ingredients to put the local flair of our restaurant on that. So we try to have enough for everybody. And then like on Monday nights, we've started a special every, a certain special every night, like Wednesdays is our six for six oysters. Mondays, we do a hamburger off our wood fire grill. That's, I would put it against any hamburger in the city. It's awesome. Well, there you go. But I love that you do have something for everybody because not everybody's a seafood eater, but at least yeah. two different people can come sit down at your restaurant and be pleased with what's put on the plate in front of them. I want to thank you so much for joining us with that uh, delectable information. I encourage everybody to go out, especially on Wednesday. Well, thanks for having me. All right. Oh, all right. I'm jealous. Bottoms oh, up. They're so good. <laughs> We're Thank back you. after this. <laughs>